put your seatbelt on, dude. <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, I tried to pull some artifacts out of this plugin right here. It's the analog saturation that you'd expect through a single track on a mixer. All I tried to do was push it like this. Man, it's not on. Push it into the purple, which would be the red. Push it into the red and uh, duplicate it a bunch. And I didn't get any tone changes. So my thought process is like Mr. Bill can pull artifacts out of time-based effects with these emulations of analog devices there should be like real low level noise, such as like a tape machine, right? So instead of just saturating it up, what I'm going to do is take a tool, group it, we're going to want a limiter, and you're going to see I have a sine wave down here. Okay, see what's going on here? I'm going to turn off the analog. Boom. So I'm bringing just a little bit up right there. You can play with like the style of circuitry. So like, let's go with the transistor, make it old. And oh, look at that. We got a little more out of it. So Something like this could just be a layer in a chain, right? So. I was turning up the lack of release in the amp on the synth. That's what that was. So let's get some in this envelope. And then let's do something like this. I'm going to do a two to one saw wave. And phase four is weird. There's definitely an explanation I don't understand, but shape sine wave all the way down like this that's you know this isn't what you want but for some reason saw wave shape is all the way up but this is a saw this is a sign okay Sounds bad.
maybe like a quarter note thing. Yeah, like that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And then this one would go down. Jesus, that's an F? Okay, that shouldn't be an F. Why is that an F? Sorry, that should be the octave. I'm really not feeling the beat, but I'll put this project up on my Patreon. If you happen to have the Hornet Analog stage, you can enjoy this. Uh, the only other paid plugin is more expensive. It's just a tape machine and it's on the end. So I'll just, this goes on sale for pretty cheap, but this is also one of those companies that just like always has a bunch of sales that they're going to send your email but might not be on the website and it's just a bunch of bullshit. So like five to $15 for this plugin. It's pretty good. Okay. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys next week.